let's give the Pyong P some new capabilities. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome again to 3D Print PT, this is Marcio. Today we will open the AMS system for our P1P, uh, Bamboo Lab P1P 3D printer. As you can see, I have already enclosed it with the ARC enclosure. Nice, nice enclosure. I'm really liking it. But today it's time to give this printer this accessory that will give it some new capabilities. Accessories box. Let's take. Hmm. Okay, it comes all, all in one piece. Instructions and PTFE tubing. This should be a really quick video. <laughs> it's a very simple operation, or it could be, and many others already did it in the past. Okay, peeling time. There is another pill. Let's check the metal. Okay, this account, cables, accessories how to i guess assembly this is what we need let's open the thing remove the included spools there is one high temp spool that i believe this is white one and three normal spools already have uh, some filament from a local supplier It's some kind of uh, master spool uh, Recharge I will try if it fits on the AMS spools Okay, I believe there is nothing else to do here apart from removing the stickers from the place from the desecant storage pieces okay we have to open the desecant bag okay, they are glued uh, shut and I believe they are supposed to be like that because the space where they fit can't fit them uh, open wide Okay. Open the D second. Uh, let's get the printer on the table. Oh, she's so smooth because there are uh, rubber sealants all around the top. So when you close it, you feel the squeeze between both rubber. Seals. I'll 
put the printer on its side. And I suppose I only need to lay it on top. It fits really nice. Now let's connect the cables and the filament buffer. Okay, spare blade, I believe. Yes, two spare blades. Always good. The screws for the filament buffer. Okay, two millimeter wrench. And another printer to you so you can see. There are three screws, but you, won't, you only need two of them. Always good to see a spare one. Okay. Time for cables. You can't be wrong because one of them is four pins, the other one six pins. So there is no wrong place to plug them. So four pins go into the printer and into the AMS. Six pins goes from the buffer to the AMS itself. Okay, I'll do some cable man management later. The PTFE tube from the AMS goes on the left side and to the right side it's the output. Okay, let me super these PGFE tubes because it comes with uh, spare tubes for the inside of the AMS. I will not use this coupler because I already have something waiting for it. So I can remove these and use the Y splitter. I printed it out of resin just because it's way more precise than FDM. But if you do the same thing, be sure to really flush the inside of the white splitter, otherwise the resin uh, will cure inside the tube and your filament won't pass. Just take a piece of filament, make sure everything is working as it should, yes, yes, okay, top one will be the outside feeder, It needs to go a bit further in. Okay, it goes through, and then the PTA feed that comes from the filament buffer. Make sure it is in its place and does not come loose. And into the wire splitter. I will check later with a longer piece of filament if it goes smooth. 
to the inside of the printer. As far as assembly, it is completely done. There is, it is a very simple process. I'll just need to tweak just a bit the, the length of the PTFE tubings because I have the side mounting uh, filament roller and the PTFE that comes with the AMS is a bit long so I'll shorten it a bit or use on one of the, of, of the shorter ones. Let me just try if the master spool recharge can fit on the AMS. Okay. It's way bigger than the AMS spools, but I can really fast design a, an adapter and use it without any kind of problem. When I have it done, I will share it in the description of this video, so please feel free to use it. Thanks for watching until the end. Subscribe, please, <laughs> and come visit soon because we will have a lot of new things. Bye.